Cooler temperatures this week and a dip in available wind power this month are boosting the demand outlook for June for U.S. natural gas, leading to nearly 3% price gains on Wednesday. While the weather is a big driver of prices on Wednesday, natural gas is also gaining on a downturn in renewable energy from wind farms, which has increased usage of natural gas over the past few weeks. According to federal energy data, wind power generation this week accounted for only 7% of total U.S. power generation, down from 17% in mid-April. Counterbalancing a further uptick in gas prices is record high production in the U.S., combined with a resumption of a similar level of Canadian gas exports to the U.S., which had declined due to wildfires raging in Alberta, that led to some production shut-ins. On Tuesday, natural gas futures hit a one-week low, largely due to an anticipated increase in U.S. output, combined with the return of full volumes of Canadian exports on the U.S. market. Last week, Baker Hughes released a report indicating that oversupply conditions and a collapse in prices have led the U.S. natural gas sector to start pulling drilling rigs at the fastest pace since February 2016. Last Friday, Baker Hughes reported that E&P companies had reduced rigs by 16 to a total of 141. In April, a key provider of rigs to the American shale patch warned that rig leases were on track to drop by 9% by the end of June, as drillers press pause due to prices that have plunged from over $10 in August last year. Weather patterns remain bearish as weather systems into the southern U.S. prevent widespread highs of the 90s from setting up. This has led to bearish weather headwinds that will persist until hotter patterns arrive, with the next best opportunity around June 6 to 10. From a daily technical viewpoint, gas is trading above its daily pivot at $2.50, with the 50-day moving average underneath offering a certain amount of support. If the upward momentum remains strong, there could be a near-term test of $2.60, which may act as a trigger point for further acceleration toward the next target at $2.80. However, it is important to keep an eye on the downside as well. If there is a sustained move below the 50-day moving average, it could indicate a shift in sentiment and a resumption of the downside pressure. In such a scenario, the primary target to watch for would be $2.30.